New Light or False Dawn is the title of The Economist's latest summit in Jakarta, bringing together leaders from business, government and elsewhere. Berita Satu English was at the Shangri-La Hotel for the in Indonesia Summit 2015. Peak Jokowi was a phrase PR firm Edelman used when releasing its annual barometer survey results to describe the attitude toward Indonesia's president during the fuel subsidy hikes early in his term. And faith in President Joko Widodo's administration and its ability to bring about an economic resurgence was the question on everyone's lips. Bringing their thoughts together was that political and business touchstone, The Economist. Well, what we like to do is bring together people in business, policy makers, uh, observers, politicians to sort of talk through issues together and enlighten each other. So we see ourselves as sort of a very high level clearinghouse and that's the role I hope we've been playing today. The summit brings together leaders and experts from government, business, academia, international organizations and NGOs to discuss Widodo's 100 days in office and explore what impact his initiatives will have going forward. Set amid a background of tension between the Corruption Eradication Commission and National Police, as well as some milestones like the introduction of a one-stop permit service at the Investment Coordinating Board and major subsidy changes, whether Widodo can truly reform the business climate is the overwhelming unknown. The president needs to continue, needs to uh, immediately uh, do at least two things. One, he must re-emphasize what is his uh, priority agendas, at least in three areas. One is in in in, uh, in terms of the establishment of clean government, fighting corruption. Two is in uh, uh, economic development, especially on infrastructures, and three on his ability to make sure that the basic goods are going to be uh, always provided, always available in, in the public. That's number one. Number two, the president must also send the signal to his political allies as well as to his political opponents that he is very serious in doing his priority agendas. When he is uh, doing his priority agendas in economy, in politics, he will not make any political compromise. Macroeconomic issues took the focus here, as well as which ones the economic eye should focus on. Discussion went far beyond overall growth. So what I would hope to see in 2019, okay, is two things. One is that we've got this economy growing at above 6%, but for me, even more important than that, okay, is that when we look at the labour force in Indonesia, okay, we no longer have just 45% of the labour force in high quality formal sector jobs. Okay, we're closer to 60 to 65 percent. So that's going to be one um, major criteria. So 6 percent growth, fine, but I really would love to see the employment figures, okay, shifted much more, okay, to a situation where we've got a larger slice of the labour force in high quality jobs. The Economist Summit aims to provide insight into the core opportunities and challenges Indonesia faces in the next 12 months and how the government, business and investors plan to face them. Barita Sato English, Jakarta.